Hello everyone and welcome to Plus Equal. Today I'm going to show you how to install the editor and open a new project in Unity. For that I will need to open up Unity Hub. As you can see here we have no installs but we have a couple of buttons that we can read install editor right um if you scroll here in these tabs you also have official releases and prior releases but first we need to install the editor so unity 6 we have uh, this supported and recommended version and then we have the lts versions the lts versions mean long-term support um but we can ignore that for now since we have a recommended one we probably are going for this one so you can come to prior releases as well you see that we have uh, 602 in beta and 603 in alpha and then um, we have the archive but we don't care much about this for now uh, so let's install the recommended one for now let's put install here and now you can see a big list of modules that you can add let me fill in the basics on this page uh, starting for the from the bottom actually uh, i will grab the documentation in case we need something languages we really don't need them for now unless you speak one of these languages now i want windows build support so i can build stuff here uh, web is actually good as well in case we need to run something on the browser so i will check that in as well these ones i don't need at least for now and then we have like ios um, or android um, i will check android just in case i need to do some tutorials for smartphones and let's it continue you can see here the required space is almost 20 gigabytes so make sure you have space in your machine hit continue you have the terms, uh, review them and accept them pretty much as any software, terms and conditions for Android SDK, depending on whether you, you selected the, the Android model or not. Install and there we go. Now we have something downloading here and it's Unity 6.1. So let's wait for this to install and I'll see you in a bit. All right, I think we are all set. We finished the download and the install process. If you go to downloads and if you press this little arrow, you can see that the editor application is installed, Windows build support is installed, documentation, web build support, Visual Studio, probably this window has been um, popping out in your computer. We will talk about it just in a second, but you can see all the modules here as well. So if you got a window in your machine uh, asking to install a Visual Studio Community 2022 is normal. I will show you right now what the windows should look like. So we got Visual Studio installer right here on the screen. And in case you have already a version installed, it will appear here under install. If you rather install a new one like the Visual Studio Community uh, preview, you can do it also here on the available ones. Meanwhile, we got this installed and we have an update to do. So I can press here and just update my version of uh, Visual Studio. In case you are in doubt, you can always come looking for Visual Studio on Google or on your uh, favorite uh, search engine and you will find official links for a Microsoft page. And from here, you can pretty much download as well Visual Studio. For example, if you hit here, Community 2022, and then we will get the setup, okay? And from there on, you can do the same thing that we are going to show you. That is the setup right here. Um, in case you need to modify the Visual Studio that you have, uh, or you can also launch it from here if you wish. So for example, if I want to open up Visual Studio from here, I can just launch and it will open this little window right here. Uh, for example, I can continue without the code just to see if it's working. And as you can see, uh, Visual Studio is open and from here on your programming is ready to go. Now, let's go back to Unity Hub where we got installed our first Unity version and let's open it up. In case you need, you can also add more modules here, okay? Or you can uninstall whenever you want to change editor. You can install more if you wish. But for now, we can go to projects and let's put new project and it will select automatically the editor that we have. In this case, it's this one. All right, you could change it. Here on the right side, you got your organization. In this case, I have my name here plus equal. You have the project name and the location where you want to your project to be uh, allocated, right? Unity version control. We will talk about this later. For the project name, let's call it um, intro tutorial for example something like this or if you want you can also put uh, underscores to separate here on this big panel you got some stuff that unity 
uh, give to you. Uh, uh, for now, let's just create our project with the core Universal 3D selected. Uh, let's create the project. If this is your first time, this can take some time. So agree with Unity here. And this beautiful picture uh, will appear in the center of your screen. And voila, Unity is open. Guys, congratulations if you get this far. As someone used to say, there is nothing more exciting than a blank page. Or in this case, an empty project. So prepare yourself to learn. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you are not subscribed yet. And I will see you in our next tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you there.